Okay, so this is another update on the boat that we're building at the moment. So the thing that was the next concern for us was actually um, getting the boat onto the car, which we would use to drive to a slipway somewhere and actually launch it. Um, since then, uh, we have also finished painting the boat, so we painted uh, aluminium paint. Um, it looks quite rugged. Um, the kind of texture of the fiberglass makes it feel a little bit like concrete, which is what we wanted. Um, and what Nathan has been doing, what Nathan has been doing alongside um, this was uh, building a, a model of his car and a ramp mechanism to actually lift the boat up. So the next video I'm going to show you is that test. It's never gonna come off now. What is it? New Volvo. It's so big, I can't even get it on the camera. You need to go step back. back. Okay. Wow, that's big. So why you why why have you made a a bamboo Volvo, chopstick Volvo? So we've been trying to work out how to get the boat onto the roof of the car because the boat got out of hand and has become very heavy. Um, so we have a quarter scale model of the boat over there. So, <laughs> so yeah, we got a quarter scale model of the car um, to test getting the quarter scale model of the boat on. In uh, hopefully using this quarter scale ramp. I'm fairly certain that this won't work at this stage, but we just need to find out what the problems are mm. before we solve them. Uh, so the this reason is, the, is, is this is the trolley. So we've already we've already built this. So. This really exists in roughly the same size. Um, just because we realised that the boat was so heavy that we we couldn't even move it around by hand very easily, let alone get it on the roof of the car with the ramp. I mean, this is light enough to be able to push it. So I'm not cheating yet. <laughs> And then we would have a pulley up at the top, which would draw it up. And I just know there are going to be problems with this at this stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just pull it anyway. It could be that it's we just need to uh, kind of have people at the sides to support it. Yeah. If I was this side, <laughs> I would actually be able to hold it and support it and keep it level. Let's see, because this wheel is a steering wheel, it's actually very difficult. Because we've got the wheel sliding around at the back, mm. it's actually very hard to keep it aligned. The Let's just say we shoved it like that. Yeah. So we know that's a problem. I'll just try and get beyond that problem now. Of course, we're going to have a similar problem when it gets that high in the air as well, which is... Oh, okay, so that was not the sort of problem that I expected. Whoa. That was the problem. <laughs> the car's lifted up. <laughs> is that... Oh my god. Do you think it will lift the car up? No, no, no. <laughs> Because once we get here, actually the ground clearance is enough. Ah, okay. Oh, the rope, the ramp's broken. Now I'm just looking like this, like I said, that's the bit that bothered me. And this is not catching at all. Mm. It's actually high enough off the edge of the car here. Mm. If I made this joint flush with the sides as well. Things I just feel no like problem. that you know, because we, you're gonna need us there to kind of balance it out. Like we should you know, me and Nick could be in the back here and there, just yeah. holding the weight up, you know, so yeah, it pivots yeah. at the right point, otherwise 
I mean, it can't be completely automated, you know? No, no, no. Otherwise, you might take the boat by yourself or somewhere and <laughs> we'll never see you again. <laughs>